You can't put needles in my jaw. When I drink, it'll leak. Now, on a serious note, obviously there are conditions to do with the jaw. Temporal mandible joint disorder, TMJ. So this is something that I've seen, you know, reasonably regularly and certainly more recently seen quite a few people with it. And uh, it, it can be a real problem. I mean, think about it. If it hurts uh, to chew and to talk, it's going to have a monstrous impact on your lifestyle. Um, and we know a lot about TMJ is related to stress and grinding of the teeth and things of that nature. There's links towards the neck and things of that nature as well. Um, now, obviously, the, the, the key to any condition is you've got to treat the root cause if you can. And if stress is the root cause, you can't miss that out. That's got to be looked into. Obviously, you can put like gum shield spaces in from the dentist, obviously, if there is grinding of teeth evidence. And you should see the dentist with regards to checking that out to make sure that that is something that's causing it in your case. And obviously, there can be referred pain. There's other conditions that can go into the jaw as well. But we do know that there are different treatment modalities uh, to treat the underlying symptom and uh, you know i've used these as well i've used like massage and then acupuncture and this is what we're going to look at today acupuncture so does acupuncture help temper a mandible joint disorder or tmj so here is a systematic review of six studies looking at just this subject and they were looking at pain intensity um, at the level of the mouth being opened now, everyone that had acupuncture um, actually had a significant reduction in pain intensity with this. However, this is where it gets more interesting, is that it was no more effective, though, although it was effective, but it was no more effective than using the occlusal splint and doing sham, fake version of acupuncture. Now, there was one study which looked at laser acupuncture, and they found a higher proportion of people who had reduction in their pain intensity than the experimental group. So in conclusion, uh, this systematic review shows that acupuncture is effective for uh, TMJ symptoms, um, but it does appear that it's no more effective than using the splint, you know, the, the spacer, and obviously using fake acupuncture. Um, so this shows you that it's sort of still debatable in this regard as to why it's effective. Um, obviously, it could be that it is placebo. It might be the splint's really important. But certainly I've seen people who have come to see me before in the past who have got have got the the occlusal splint in? You know they've tried lots of other things. They're doing their exercises. You know they're improving on their stress management, and they might even be seeing specialists for that as well. And they're getting nowhere. And then we apply acupuncture, and they start to get somewhere. And I think this is where you know the evidence sometimes doesn't always tell you the exact story. But obviously in this case we go with the evidence, and it shows you that it can be effective, but it may not be effective for the reasons that you think. And that's why in this, uh, this systematic review, they recommend further research papers to further delve into this. And I know some people say, well, it's banging the same old drum, uh, you know, acupuncture research, there is a lot of it. Um, but again, you know, high quality studies, you know, not always there to be found, a lot of risk of bias and so on and so forth. So, but an interesting systematic review nonetheless, for a condition which not that many people know about. Um, and uh, therefore, yeah, that concludes what they found on that one. So I'll see you next time.